Welcome back. Continuing the news, rocked by accusations that it has failed to inform the country about the dangerous flu which is taking lives, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton is on the offensive this evening, D on the defensive rather this evening. Dr. Tufton admits that a fourth flu death was recorded on Friday and there's recognition that the death toll could be higher. We have more in this report. As of today, um, their advice is that there are no cases of swine flu in Jamaica. The health minister is standing firm on its position that the swine flu is not in Jamaica. According to medical experts, what is present is a variant of the H1N1 virus known as the H1N1 pandemic 09 strain. When it is that we're talking about swine flu, we're talking about an influenza that is transmitted by the pigs. That is the one that lodged at the throat and give you that barking cough that people call hog flu. Okay, this is separate from influenza that we're seeing now that is being commonly caused by H1N1 pandemic 09 strain. The virus has been in Jamaica since 2009. Its impact peaked in 2013, again in 2016, and now in 2018-2019. But while it is not swine flu, the ministry says the virus afflicting the public is still dangerous. Days ago, the ministry got a notification that another person had died from complications associated with the virus. So far for this year, we've had four rep reported cases that we have isolated H1N1 pandemic 09 strain. Four? Yes, we've had four cases. No, the, not since then. We, we had... Um, the last case was March the 22nd. Yeah, but the notification came in on Friday. Right, the notification came in on Friday. But the chief medical officer said the number of persons to have died from complications associated with the virus could be higher, but their cause of death may have been listed as pneumonia due to the symptoms the virus carry. Persons are therefore being asked to take precautions against spreading the virus by washing hands regularly, staying away from work when sick with the flu, and not coughing in the open air. Persons are also urged to use paracetamols to fight the flu, stay hydrated and get rest. But if the condition worsens... We would never say to any Jamaican, because you think the public health system is under stress, you should not seek medical attention if you have symptoms. It is advisable and we encourage persons to seek medical attention. And this is why we have had extended opening hours to accommodate any additional pressure on the system. The flu season in Jamaica runs from October to March each year. The minister says there are tens of thousands of regular flu cases in the country, and these range from mild to severe. On the 12th of February, we had a, a, a parliamentary statement, again based on the advice of the clinicians, outlining to the country that we were in a flu alert. And that was because, in their estimation, based on what they have seen and were seeing at the time, um, we expected to have um, an unusual number of cases of the flu and also more severe cases of the flu. So that statement was intended to provide the initial information to the public. Beyond that, the statement was supported by a prolonged, ongoing, which currently is still in progress, um, public education, public information through mainstream media. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.